Let's get started. Today, I'm here because Mikey has something he wants to show me. You're gonna love it, JJ! I made a really cool zombie research lab! Zombie what now? Check it out! Whoa! That's a zombie villager, right? That's right! Freddy wasn't always a zombie, so I built a lab to try to cure him! I've done a lot of research, but I still haven't found a way to cure him and turn him back to normal. I've tried everything I can think of! Hmm. Here, have some more! Are those… Cookies? Yeah! It's like I told you, none of my ideas work! He's not eating! Anyway, I still haven't given up on my testing. Oh, let me give you a tour of my zombie research lab! Sure! What's this place? This is the zombie combat training area. It's a place where you can practice battling zombies. Pretty cool, right, DJ? Uh, yeah, it's totally cool, Mikey. Give it a try. Do some training. Fight the zombie? Uh, can I use one of these swords? Of course. That sounds fun. It's just the one zombie, right? Yeah, only one. For now, at least. Just don't let your guard down. Ready, JJ? Sure. Okay, here I go. Whoa! Start! Okay, take this! Get him! Wait, what? <laughs> Mikey, I thought there would just be one zombie! Lesson one! You never know how many zombies there are! Fine, I can handle it. Huh? Yes! What? Got it! But there were three of them! Well done, JJ! You've gained some valuable experience fighting zombies! How about I show you the research lab's basement? Follow me, JJ! It's down here, below the trap door! Nice secret entrance! Thanks! Oh, more zombies! Ready? Three, two, one, go! Snow golems? Fight the zombies! I'm testing snow golems as a zombie defense system! <laughs> Uh-oh! Come on! Hang in there! No! Oh, they couldn't beat the zombies! I love snow golems. They're so cute! But every single time they lose to the zombies! I just don't know why! They haven't won a single time! I guess I just have to do more research. Well, Mikey, a snow golem snowball only do damage to things like blazes or the ender dragon. They just can't hurt zombies. Not even a little bit. Really? <laughs> I didn't know that. Then does that mean all of this research was for nothing? Well, you can always use snow golems as decoys and beat the zombies in other ways. So, my research wasn't just a waste of time? I forgot to tell you this earlier, Mikey, but... Hmm? I've actually been researching zombies on my own in secret. Really? You mean you have a zombie research lab too? That's right. I built it myself. Wow! Also, I think my lab has exactly the thing you need, Mikey. Come with me. Huh? Exactly what I need? What could that be? Let's check it out! Wait here, guys! Let's go! Here we are. Wow! It's huge! I know, right? How long did this take you to build? Oh, is that a zombie villager? Oh, I feel bad for him. He can never go back to being a villager. Poor guy. Actually, huh? this zombie villager will be going back to normal. What? That's impossible! How? Here, I'll show you. We'll need a golden apple from this chest. But before we do anything with that, I'll flip this lever. Uh... Flip! First, we have to give the zombie villager a dose of medicine. Okay. And now comes the golden apple. Oh. I'm just gonna feed it to him. You mean you're not supposed to feed him any cookies? That's right. Now we just wait a few minutes. He's cured! See? Just like I said, he's back to normal. Wow! This is the medication. Oh! And here's a golden apple. Wow! Use these to cure your friend. Now I can save him! Thank you! Yep! I'm so excited! 
Okay, come on out, villager. I'm glad he's better. You can go back home. Bye-bye. Hey, Mikey. Hmm? Want to take a look in here? Yeah. What do you have in this area? You'll see. What is this place? Oh, you shouldn't get too close. Why? That's the combat training area. Whoa! See that zombie? Yeah. That's the area to practice fighting zombies. Cool! It's like the one I made! Believe it or not, I have experience fighting zombies. I bet I could win, no problem! Could I give it a try? Please? Well, the zombie in there might look normal now, but you can't be too careful. So, take a look at this. You should probably take some weapons and armor before going in there to fight that thing. Nah, I don't need any of that stuff. This will only take a second, so don't worry about me, JJ. Mikey, hang on. Huh? I think you should reconsider. Don't worry about me. It'll be just fine. That's not good. Let's start the battle. Oh, Mikey, you're trapped in there. It's fine. Huh? Look behind you! It's just one zo- Wait, what?! What is that thing?! I don't wanna get so big! Sure embarrassing. I tried to warn you, Mikey. You just tried to fight a super dangerous mutant zombie. A mutant zombie? This research lab is awesome! That reminds me, there's something else I wanted to show you. I can even mutate those snow golems you like so much. Really? Yeah, just follow me. Wow! You have so many snow golems in here! And on the other side, mutant zombies? Are you gonna make them fight? Mm, yep. But I thought you already knew this. Snow golems can't damage zombies. If you make them fight, the snow golems will all lose. It's pretty common knowledge, JJ. Don't worry, Mikey. They may be normal snow golems now, but they won't stay that way. Oh? Once they mutate, things will get interesting. Ready? Sure. Three, two, one. Oh. Huh? That was a dose of the mutation drug. Wow! Ready, Mikey? Yep. Let's go. The gate is open. Good luck, snow golems. They're much stronger now. Whoa! Uh, huh? How long was I out? And where am I? This looks like a train. And the other passengers, they're asleep too. Uh. Oh, Mikey's here too. Hey, Mikey. Wait, what was that noise? Huh? Someone just entered the train car. Am I crazy? Or is there a monkey on the train? <laughs> ah! He just killed a villager! This is bad. He's coming this way! We need to get out of here, and fast! Come on, Mikey! Wake up! <laughs> He's not waking up. What do I do? I don't have much time. I may have to wake him up by force. Mikey! Come on! You have to wake up! Ah! Hey! What was that for? Ugh! You're so mean, JJ! I was having such a nice dream! Now's not the time, Mikey! We have to get out of here! What are you talking about? Look! What is that thing? Let's get out of here! Now! Alright! Hurry! Run away! <gasps> Duh! Oh no! The door is sealed off with iron bars! There's nowhere to run! Seriously? What are we gonna do? Uh, uh, oh, there's a chest. Maybe this'll help us. Oh, it's just some loaves of bread. It's no good, Mikey. There was nothing useful in there at all. Uh, uh oh! We're out of time! What? Uh, the monkey's caught up! It's all over for us! We can't give up! <laughs> Come on, think! 
Wait. What? We're back in our home. This must have been a dream, but it felt so real. <sighs> oh no, stop it! Sounds like Mikey's having a nightmare. I'll wake him up. Uh, go away! Mikey, wake up! Are you okay? Huh? Huh? It was only a dream? Are you alright, Mikey? That sounded like a really bad dream. Oh, JJ! In my dream, we were on a train being attacked by a monkey! It was right about to get us! I'm glad that wasn't real! A dream where a monkey was attacking us? Are you sure? Yeah? Why? Well, I had the exact same dream! Huh? No way! You're joking! Oh no, I have a bad feeling about this! Huh? What are you talking about? Hold on, let me check something. Is this the monkey you saw? Yeah! That's exactly what I saw! Oh no, he's called the Circus Monkey. And if he finds you, he can kill you in your dreams. It looks like we've become his next targets. So we're being hunted by an evil monkey? What can we do about it? Well, one thing we could do is never sleep again. If we never sleep, we'll never dream. So he won't be able to attack us. Yeah, that could work. Wait, but I like sleeping. That's not gonna happen. Yeah, it's not a very good plan. Our other option is to beat the circus monkey in our dreams. Okay, it sounds like we can do that. Let's take the circus monkey down. I'd love to, but it won't be easy. How are we supposed to bring weapons into our dreams? All right. We could never beat him with our bare hands. Hmm, there must be a way. What do we do? Hey, what if... Yeah? This chest. I'm sure I saw it on the train. Huh? No way. These loaves of bread were in the dream, too. Really? Maybe, just maybe, this chest will let us bring items into our dreams. You really think so? Then all we have to do is put weapons in there and the circus monkey is toast! Alright, let's gather the items we'll need. Okay, let's do it! Preparations complete. We'll set up a security system inside the dream train. So, what are we bringing with us? This is everything we've managed to gather. Ooh! We have some redstone components, two sets of netherite gear, and two energy launchers. Awesome! All right, let's get the bread out of the way and fill up this chest with our new awesome equipment. This is great! The circus monkey isn't gonna stand a chance! That's right, we have more than enough. Our preparations are complete. Let's get some sleep. I'll see you back on the dream train. Yeah, let's take him down. Good night. <laughs> oh, JJ. Hey. Hi. We're back. Oh. The circus monkey will probably show up really soon. You're right. Let's hurry and set up our security system. You got it, Mikey. Well, let's take a look inside the chest. Hmm. Open up. Yes, all of our stuff is here. This is great news. Now, let's gather it all up. We should act fast, since we don't know how much time we have. Okay, let's get to work. What should we build? Well, for starters, the circus monkey will attack from this side. So our first security measure will be to put a trap by the door. Okay, what kind of trap will we use? Well, I'll start by setting up a couple of tripwire hooks. I see. And then the tripwire itself. There! When he steps on this, it will activate the rest of the trap. That's what I'll build next. What will that be? Next, I'll set up some blocks on the walls. Okay. Then, I'll arrange these redstone torches and pistons. Hmm? Huh? The pistons go up here. Uh-huh. Now to wire them up with redstone dust, like so. 
Interesting! And finally, on top of the pistons, four heavy anvils. Oh! So when the circus monkey steps on the tripwire, wow! he gets flattened like a pancake. It's the perfect trap. Wow, this is awesome! I can't wait to see it in action. He doesn't stand a chance! Next, I'll set up a lava trap. Good idea! Right here. First, I'll dig out a pit. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Just in case the anvils aren't enough. That looks deep enough. Nice! There! And now, let's cover it up. What's that? It looks like the carpet at a glance. But it will break if something heavy steps on it. Hopefully, it'll trick him. Oh, clever! Thanks! I hope it works! There! If the monkey makes it to this green floor, it'll fall into the lava. That's perfect! Not even the circus monkey can avoid that. This is probably enough security, right? Maybe. But just in case, let's build an arrow trap. <laughs> let's start by clearing some of the carpet to make room for these pressure plates. There. <laughs> Next, we'll need some dispensers. Next up, there's another mechanism I want to build here. Really? What's that? Like this. And now to cover it up. Oh, so now it's all connected. That's right. And it's totally hidden. Great. And of course, we have to fill the dispensers with stacks of arrows. Of course. Finally, I'll hook this up with redstone dust. All right, it's finished. When he steps on these pressure plates, it will fire a barrage of arrows. I'll demonstrate. Whoa! <laughs> That's awesome! Oh yeah, this will definitely do the trick. The circus monkey is going down. We have so much security, this will be easy. Remember though, Mikey, just in case he makes it past our security, we'll have to fight him directly. I guess. But still, there's no way it'll come to that. Maybe, but just to be safe, I brought us these sets of Neverite equipment. So let's put them on, okay? All right. Good. Let's also keep these golden apples in case we need a power-up. Whoa, thanks, JJ. Yeah, let's suit up. Let's do it. Looking good. All right. Hey, JJ, did you bring the energy launchers? Let's use those. They're awesome. That's true. But if we use them inside the train, we'll get caught up in the blast. So we should only use them as a last resort. Okay, Mikey? Oh, I see. Let's put them away. That's a shame. But I guess it's for the best. Yeah. All that's left to do now is wait. That monkey doesn't know what's coming. Listen. Huh? The door just unlocked. <gasps> Get ready, Mikey. The circus monkey is coming. I'm ready. No! He's here! There he is! <gasps> it's the circus monkey! We'll be okay. We've got traps ready. Yeah! That's right. Okay. Let's show this monkey what we've got. <laughs> Come on. Just a little closer. He's about to set it off. Got him! <laughs> Take that! Huh? What? No! Uh, he set off the trap, but it barely hurt him at all! How? He's still coming towards us! Get back! Retreat! Uh, uh. We're still okay! We still have the lava trap! That'll finish him off! Right! Take this! Yes! Uh, it worked! We uh, fell into the lava! Uh, huh? Uh-oh. What? Is he climbing back out? He's still coming! We have to retreat again! Go, Mikey! Look for it! Come on! Please! All right! This one has to work! It has to! The arrow trap should finish him off. Yes! Good! He activated the trap! It's working! Come on! This is it, right? He's gotta be low on health now! What? Look out, Mikey! Huh? You're kidding me! 
impossible! He made it through the arrow trap! What now? This is bad! He's got us cornered! Well, what do we do? Well, our only choice is to fight him ourselves! Eat your golden apple and attack! Okay, got it! Let's deal with that circus monkey! He's going down! Your reign of terror ends here! He's really strong! Come on! Are you okay, Mikey? I think so! This guy hits like a truck! Keep attacking! Don't let up! Not much longer now! <laughs> yes! We did it! Great job! Now we don't have to live in fear of the circus monkey anymore! What a relief! Aw, oh, Mikey, something terrible has happened! Hmm? It's awful! Do you see that? See what? That guy over there! What guy? Over there! Him! Who is it? Don't get close! I feel like I should know this. What is it again? Oh, wait, I know! Mikey, take this seriously! Why? How could it be dangerous if it doesn't move? Well, we're fine right now because one of us is watching him. But the moment we look away, he'll attack us! Oh! I think I've heard of this! So we just have to keep our eyes on him? That's right. Or he'll come after us. Let's put some distance between us, back up, but keep watching him. This feels a little extra. I'm serious. He'll attack. But JJ, I need to see it to believe it. If I don't, will he really attack? I want to look away. Aren't you curious? We're far enough away now that I think we can test it, Mikey. I'm going to look away, so keep your eyes on him. Okay. I'm watching. I'm going to look away and then press F5. Ready? You can look away now, but look back quickly. It'll be fine. Woo. Ah! Ah! What's that scary noise he makes? I need to look. This guy really might be bad news. Yeah, he'll keep coming for us, so let's try to survive. Wait, where'd you go, Mikey? I'm way over here. We'll be fine as long as one of us is keeping watch. For now, let's just make a run for it. Let's go. This is dangerous. He's coming this way. I feel like he's getting closer. Let's run. We have to gather wood. He's following. Really? He is. Ah! You gather wood while I keep my eye on him. Yeah. Don't take your eyes off of him, okay? Don't let your guard down. He's seriously so scary. I'll try glancing away for a sec. Woo. Ah, he moved. JJ, here. Thanks, Mikey. I thought we had more distance between us. But he's right there. Can we even craft? Let's see. Oh, we're safe as long as we're facing him while we craft. JJ, I'm in trouble. I looked Shy Guy in the eye. What am I going to do? Are you serious? Yeah. This is bad. Looking at Shy Guy directly in the eye fills him with rage. He'll hunt anyone who dares to the end of the earth. He's a terrifying creature. <gasps> I hate to say it, but you're doomed, Mikey. No! There must be something we can do! Oh, I've got an idea. We need to enhance our security before Shy Guy shows up looking for you. Because he's searching for you as we speak, and he's set on hunting you down. Then let's get started. Well, the first issue is we don't know which direction he'll be attacking from. True. That's why I suggest we put our shelter on top of a long staircase. It'll act as a funnel. Good thinking. We'll set up our first security measure right here. What's it gonna be? I actually have something really cool in mind. First things first, we're gonna build a super long hallway. Yeah, that's it. Hmm. Now check this out. Whoa! Awesome! Well, guess what? This is just the start. <laughs> now for the next part. This is our first line of defense. Uh, just this? You're right. An empty hallway won't stop Shy Guy. But a hallway full of lasers might. We'll make a laser minefield. But we gotta set it up so that the two of us can make it through. Okay, I get it. So we can jump over this one pretty easily. But keep in mind, Shy Guy is a lot taller than us. 
The best strategy is to put a bunch of lasers at his height. Oh, that makes sense! Check it out! We can walk underneath them no problem. But they're sure to hit Shy Guy right in the face. Ooh, that's clever! Those lasers pack a serious punch. Mm -hmm. If we scatter a whole bunch of them throughout the hallway, there's no way he'll be able to get through here. Not without getting hit. So, the more lasers, the better? Yeah, check this out! Ooh. These are sure to hit Shy Guy! <laughs> hit him right in the face! <laughs> nice! How's that looking? Hmm. Ooh. Not bad! I think it's great! <laughs> This one we jump over, and we're here! Now to add a vertical laser! Ooh, good thinking! I'll put this here... ...and that there... You get the idea! When the Shy Guy shows up, we'll bob and weave our way through while he gets lasered over and over! <laughs> How about a couple more? Why not? That should do it! Now... Once we make it to the end of this hallway, we'll turn here and climb even more stairs. Awesome! That's a great idea! I'll just get things set up for the staircase. Alright, here's what I'm thinking, Mikey. This is where we're gonna set up our second anti-Shy Guy security measure. Another one, huh? Hmm. What's it gonna be? We've already got stairs and lasers. What security feature could we possibly add? I'd like to propose a narrow walkway over a pit of lava. I'll show you. Hit of lava. Seat strong. Okay. Ta-da! Lava! Woo! Oh, oops. It's overflowing. Wow! Look at this lake of lava! There. I fixed it. We now have our obstacle. But what do we need next? Uh... See this pipe? Yeah? I'm gonna lay it down all the way across. This is for security? Yep. I call this the tightrope block. Oh! We'll need to keep our balance as we walk along the pipe and cross over the lake of lava. Oh, I get it! I'm making it harder by making the path super oh, windy. It is hard! Lose your balance and it's game over. You end up taking the hottest bath of your life. No kidding! Great plan, JJ! <laughs> Thanks! Now this is secure. Wow! Oops, my bad. Okay, I'll go this way. And this way. How's that? Looks good to me. Shy Guy's pretty fast on his feet. He sure is. And he's got stamina. True, but I think these twists and turns will really slow him down. Oh, yeah. I'll add a few more bends. Then if Shy Guy loses his balance, he'll slip off the pipe and fall into the lava. Hopefully. What a great plan. How could it fail? And... Done. No way he can make it across! It's a tough path, but there's actually a trick to it. What is it? You and I can just jump over the gaps. See how simple it is to cross? Whoa, yeah! It's a shortcut! Yep. Amazing! So easy! For us. But I doubt Shy Guy will take a shortcut. True that! He'll probably try to cross here, ignoring the shortcut. He'll lose his balance, then fall into the lava. For sure! We'll be safe and sound while he takes an accidental dip. Alrighty then. I think it's time to make another staircase. A shelter! Oh, cool! Ready to get started? Let's do this! What kind though? I want something super safe! Hmm, let's see... So we have a bunch of lasers, yep. and the lava walkway. So there's only one reason we would need this place, if the two security measures aren't enough to shake off the Shy Guy. Right! So it's a last resort kind of shelter. Exactly! There's no way he'll make it this far! Don't underestimate him! Shy Guy is no joke, he's incredibly strong. That's why we can't just build a place to hide. We also need this shelter to act as our third line of defense. You mean with a security system? What do you have in mind? I hope it's super duper secure. You'll see. We'll focus on our shelter first. We'll make the walls out of iron. You can give me a hand. This is very durable material. Great for shelters. True. As long as we don't leave any weak spots, it should be difficult for Shy Guy to break in. Yeah, these are sturdy. Iron walls are no joke. You said it. Next, for the entrance. A wooden door should do the trick. Yeah, a simple, flimsy, easily breakable wooden door. Wait, what? Hmm? Wooden doors aren't very 
very secure at all. Yeah, that's true. Right? I chose it on purpose. I want something weak because this door is a trap. Really? Uh-huh. Walking through this door will activate a pitfall trap, causing the floor to collapse. Whoa! Look at this. If Shy Guy were to fall from this height, he'd hit the ground and go splat. Yikes! Great idea, though. So this is the trap door. Right. Which means we need a secret entrance that's safe for us to use. Let's see here. Put these here. Woohoo! And then some of this. Fill this in. There. Now when we push this button, the door will open just long enough for us to get inside. That's perfect! Now, as for Shy Guy's entrance, we need to build the actual trap. What I'm thinking is, we make it out of TNT and sand. Okay, step one, placing the TNT. Alright, that looks good. Now to lay down a platform of sand. Then I'll place some redstone on top, and then another layer of sand, right at floor level. Now this part is extremely dangerous. Mikey, step back. Okay, got it! I'm laying down a stone pressure plate. Whoa! Now when Shy Guy shows up, he'll most likely break the door down. It's just a flimsy wooden one, so he won't have any trouble with it. The moment he steps on the pressure plate, the trap will activate and he'll go crashing back down to Earth. There's no way he'll survive that! Awesome! All that's left to do is wait. He could appear at any moment. True. Just be ready. Can do. The sun is setting, but there's still no signs of Shy Guy. Hmm, that's right. Since he's not here yet, let's take the time to properly prepare ourselves. Put some armor on. Great idea. Looking good. Now I'm really ready. With all the work we've done, I'm kind of hoping he shows up. Oh, he's definitely coming, so don't let your guard down. Sure thing. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, where could he be? Still no sign of him. Uh. Ah! Mikey! Ah! He's here! JJ! JJ! He's chasing me! Yeah, he's locked onto you. Run as fast as you can. Quick, this way! I'm coming! That's it! Hurry, you okay? I'm scared! But I'm glad we have a security system! Me too! Oh, 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 hurry! Ow! I just got hit by our own laser! Shy Guy's getting hit too! But our system doesn't seem to be slowing him down one bit! He must have a ton of help! No way! Just keep running, Mikey! <laughs> this is not good! It sure is it! I need to get my health back up. Come on, Mikey. Run, run, run. We made it through all our lasers. It's time for plan B. We have a lava walkway, so we're going to be okay. Are you sure he can't cross this? How could he? We're the only ones who know the trick. You can do this. Come on, Mikey. We gotta go. What is it? Shy Guy's walking across like it's no big deal. What? Hurry up! I'm trying! Uh, Don't tell me he's right behind you! Uh, he's right behind you! Yeah, I said not to tell me that! <laughs> to the shelter of last resort! Quick! Sprint, Mikey! We have to hide! Uh, get in! Get in! <laughs> that was close. Too close. <sighs> yes! It looks like Shy Guy is trying to break through the wooden door. Don't stand on the sand, Mikey! I'll be fine! I don't think he's trying to get in! Whoa! What? <laughs> scared me! Wait! Yes! We beat him? That's right! Amazing! We defeated Shy Guy! You looked Shy Guy in the eye, but you survived! Congrats! Thanks! Well done! Tonight! Keep your eyes peeled for the vicious Toon Cat. What? 
the Toon Cat is coming to town? Toon Cat? That's a super dangerous monster, right? Apparently, it chases its prey to the furthest reaches of the world. What do we do? Here's the plan, Mikey. We're gonna strengthen the security on this house to defend against the Toon Cat. We better get moving. We might not have much time. What do we do first? Let's see. Oh, I know. To start, let's make sure we've locked all the doors and windows. Then, we'll set up these pressure plates. When the Toon Cat chases us, we'll run back to the house. Unfortunately, we need to open and shut doors manually. If we leave them open for too long, the Toon Cat will come in. But if I place the pressure plates here... What happens? The door will automatically close behind us once we're inside. Wow! That's going to be our first security measure. An automatic closing door. Oh, I see. We might have a problem if we place the pressure plates on the outside. See? Here's what I'm thinking. The Toon Cat can't open doors on its own, so this should help us. The door will force it out. Even though we can't get in the front door, we should expect the Toon Cat to eventually break inside. In that case, we need to add some more security. Like what? It might be a good idea to build a trap inside the house. Okay, what kind of trap? How about a cage trap? Good idea! Alright, what type of materials do we need? Let's use sticky pistons, iron bars, redstone torches, redstone dust, and repeaters for now. That should do it! Wow! This looks like a good spot. I'm digging a hole. Cool! How's that? Good job! Perfect! Next, I'm gonna set up a row of redstone torches. Hmm. Terrific! Moving on. All right, what's next? Let me think. I dug another big hole so I have somewhere to put the repeaters down. Repeaters? Oh! Next up is the redstone dust. What's that for? Now I'll cover the top like this. Cool! I still need to install a lever. Whenever someone pulls it, the redstone torches will flicker on and off. That means it's working. Oh! Time for the pistons. Huh? They'll go up here. Oh! We can control all the pistons at the same time with just one lever. That's incredible! Yeah! How does it go? That's the easy part. Watch this. Wow! Let's see. Oh! You made complete! This is great! Yep. One more thing. Wow! Awesome! We have to put a lid on it. Otherwise, the Toon Cat will be able to climb over. Why don't we try using glass? Sure! We can't have him climbing over it. Right! So this will work better. This will block him off, right? Yeah, probably. Huh? Hmm? Who's there? Who'd visit this late in the day? Is it a delivery? I'll get it! Mm hmm. Oh, thanks. Yep. Huh? Ah! Ah! Escape. Huh? The ghost left. Oh, this is our chance. We need to escape. But the door is locked. We have to get out of here right away. Uh, 
Wait! Mikey, look! Huh? Right here! Huh? There's a hole! Huh? Maybe if I... If I get down huh? on my hands and knees, maybe I can fit through! Huh? Okay, let's give it a try! Can you fit? I'm out! I made it! <laughs> awesome! Now get me out of here! Please! Uh, <gasps> no! Help me! Wait! I see a key! Huh? I can't let the ghost see me! It's gone, right? I'll grab the key! <laughs> I got it, Mikey! I'll open the door! Oh, good! Okay... Yes! It unlocked the door! <gasps> oh, come on, Mikey! I'm out! That's better. Let's run before... Ah, Mikey, run! <laughs> it's behind you! Ah. Ah, what was that? <laughs> Phew! Oh, man! Sheesh! We made it! Now we can take it easy. Ugh. That was a close call. Seriously, but at least it's trapped now. Mm hmm hmm. What? Ah! It's behind me! Watch out! Oh no! Go! Just keep running! Faster! You okay? <laughs> it's fast! It's coming! Wait, that's poison! Watch out! Careful! <laughs> <laughs> the ghost! It's coming around! No! Ah! It's coming! Run! Ah! <laughs> the surface. Go, go, go! Hurry! Hey, that's our house. Come on, Mikey. Faster! Get inside! Ah! The door! Yes! Ooh, that was close! Phew! <sighs> yeah. Okay, let's go up to the second floor. All right. <sighs> We're safe. Huh? It's the ghost! <gasps> no way! Huh? It keeps ringing the doorbell! It won't stop! Ugh, it's still after us! <sighs> but whatever happens, don't answer. Mm -hmm. It's getting dark. Yeah. We'll survive. You're right. The ghost is persistent. Seriously! Uh. It's morning. The sun is up. Uh. Huh? Huh? It's leaving. Did it give up? Oh, I wonder why. Huh? Weird. Oh. Huh? Huh. It's gone. It went back to the cave. It's gone? <sighs> That's good. It gave up on us. Mm -hmm. Wait, <laughs> it's too soon to relax. Well, the ghost might come for us again tonight. You might be right. Let's set up anti-ghost security. Good idea! First things first. Yep. This cave. The ghost is hiding out deep inside, right? What about it? This is the entrance to it. Yeah? Here, we'll use lasers. Oh. Like this. So maybe we can seal it inside the cave. Oh! Oh, yeah! Nice! I bet it'll be hard for the ghost to get through all that. Mm -hmm. It won't be easy with these lasers. Mm -hmm. All right. For my next idea... Yeah? There's still a possibility that the ghost will escape. Uh-huh. So, let's build a trap with these dispensers. What is it? Let's build it over here. We'll place them here and there. Then we'll fill the dispensers up with fire charges. Oh! Cool! And now that these are full... Yeah! We'll line up a whole bunch of them. Like this. I'm seeing! Yeah, that should do it. More here. And there. Now, we'll place pressure plates over all of them. See? Sounds good! 
Wait, let's add a few more rows, okay? Alright! Let's cover these ones, too. Oh! Wow! Yep, this trap is great! Mm -hmm. When you step on them, fire charges launch up out of the ground! Get that ghost and burn it up! Yeah! Oh. Hopefully that takes care of the ghost! Nice! Right? But what do you think it'll do when it's on fire? Uh, jump into the water? Aha! Exactly! Mm. I imagine it going like this. It'll break out of the cave. Mm -hmm. And then the fire charges will burn the ghost. Uh -huh. Then, to put the fire out, it will dive into this lake. Right! Yep. But what then? Well, we're going to secure the lake mm -hmm. with these. Ta-da! Whoa! Sharks! Yikes! A whole swarm of them in the lake. Wow! So that's your plan. The sharks will attack the ghost. Yep. Amazing! This lake is dangerous. Careful not to fall in. Yeah. They'll eat you up in no time flat. Well, if the ghost manages to survive being ravaged by sharks, oh. we'll need more security. Like what? Well, we still need to secure the entrance to our house. One thing we know about the ghost is that it loves ringing the doorbell almost non-stop. Just like this. That's why we'll set a trap here at the door. How? First, we'll remove the doorbell. Mm -hmm. And then... Ta-da! We'll use a dispenser. Oh! But we'll load the dispenser with arrows this time. Okay. Then, we just put a button on the dispenser. And... And then? Well, it looks like a doorbell. Oh, it does. But... Hmm? If the ghost pushes this button... Yeah? Stand back. Oh, okay. Here it goes. Push. Wow! Yes! It shot out! Mm-hmm! Wow! If it thinks the button is the doorbell and presses it, an arrow shoots out! Cool! The ghost will definitely fall for that! Right? Perfect! Well, with what we have so far, this is a pretty good security system! Mm-hmm! But I can't help but think that if it gets into the house... Huh? We'll need to build a self-destruct mechanism for the house, just in case! Self-destruct? Yep! Whoa! And that means we need to renovate. Uh -huh. We'll set up the TNT first. <clears throat> Just like this. Okay. I want to dig up the floor and fill the space with as much TNT as we can. We're taking this ghost down. Right. Like this. Yeah. Oh, I see. We'll have to blow up the entire house if it gets inside. I hope it doesn't happen. Let's just focus on the TNT. All right. Put in as much as we can. <laughs> Fill it right up. Yeah. Under the floor. This is crazy. And then we have to cover it all up. Mm -hmm. There. And this is how we'll hide the TNT from the ghost. Okay. Looking good. It is. Alright! Done! Nice! Sweet! Next up, we need to make a detonator. Okay! Huh, let's set it up here. And then... Hmm... I'll do it like this. Oh! Right, I'll lay out the fuse line. Good idea! That looks great! There we go. Extend it over here. Right. All right, good. And now I'll place a lever. If we pull it, the house explodes. Ooh. Don't touch it. Ow. Now we need to make an escape route. When the time comes to blow up the house, we might be on the second floor. <laughs> we'll need to get down to the first floor. So, over here... Yeah? I'll make a secret door. It'll be our emergency exit. Hmm. Okay. And now... Mm -hmm. That's amazing! Mm -hmm. It's perfect! Let's give it a button. When we push this... Whoa! The secret door opens. If the ghost gets into the house, 
We push this button and we jump outside. Awesome! We run on over to the detonation switch. And then... Then? We activate it, and the ghost will blow up with the house. It's the perfect plan. Our anti-ghost measures are awesome! Yup! Whoa! All we have to do now is wait for Nightfall, when the ghost will attack again. Alright! It's dark out now. Is the ghost coming? Uh, oh! There it is! No! It's here! The ghost! <gasps> ha! It seems confused. It might not make it past the lasers. Huh? We might be safe! Oh, it pushed through! The lasers! Oh! I think we heard it at least. <gasps> no? What about the next trap? Whoa! It set off the traps! Look, JJ! It's working! The ghost is burning! It dove in! Haha, <laughs> you're right! The sharks are attacking! They really are! Yes! Fire it! No! Haha! <laughs> hey, maybe the sharks will defeat it! It's working! Wow! Madness hurts. We're not letting up. Awesome. Oh, it got away. The shorts couldn't beat it. Uh, hang on. It's close. No, it reached the house. Will it fall for it? Is it going to push the doorbell? <laughs> yes, it fell for the trap. And I think the ghost is a little confused now. It seems so. Right? Wow, it has no idea what's happening! So silly! Oh, how long is it gonna fall for that? Oh, it figured it out! Oh no! It realized the doorbell is trapped! Hey, does it look angry to you? Uh, yeah! It won't come inside though, right? No! Hmm? It's angry! It's furious. What's it gonna do? Mm. Huh? Huh? What? What's it doing? Dynamite? <gasps> uh oh! What? This is bad. It's blasting the door open. No! Oh. No! <laughs> oh, hold on. It's inside. Oh no! What do we do now? Uh, GG? It's inside the house. Oh no! Uh, in the switch. Oh, we need to run and activate the switch! Hurry! Okay! Here it is! Come on, hurry! Go! We need to flip the switch! Oh, look! Oh. You can see the ghost looking for us inside! Creepy! That was so close! Very! Alright, let's do this! The detonation switch! Three, two, one. Will it work? We're taking it down with the house! Please work! A series of random kidnappings? Everyone should be on the lookout? I can't believe it. Wow. A massive kidnapping spree. That is not good news. Wait. Now that I think of it, I haven't heard from Mikey since yesterday. Is he okay? I better head over to his house and check up on him. Let's go take a look. This is his house. Hmm. I saw Mikey last night, but not since. I hope he's feeling all right. Uh, Mikey, it's me, JJ. Open up. Are you in there? Hmm. No answer. Should I just let myself in? That should be okay. I mean, we're friends after all. I'm doing it. Huh? Oh! Where did Mikey go? He's not here! Not only that, but his house is a wreck! What happened in here? Oh, what's 
What's this? It's a notebook. Let's see what it says. Hmm? Oh, we have taken Mikey! You have until sunset to bring one million diamonds to these coordinates, or else! Oh no! This is bad! Mikey! Has been kidnapped! And they've set a ransom of one million diamonds! How am I supposed to gather that many up by the end of the day? What am I gonna do? Do I... Do I even have a million diamonds saved up? I better start by counting how many I have. Who knows? Maybe I have enough. I'll check the safe and find out. Let's see... Where's that key? Oh! That's right, I hid it here. Now that I have it, I can pull this lever, open up this secret underground passageway, and head on down. This is it. The chest where I keep all my savings. But one million diamonds? How could I possibly have saved up that many? I mean, that's a lot of diamonds. Only one way to find out. If I had enough, I'll be able to get Mikey back safely. Here goes nothing. Open. What? I only have ten? Are you kidding me? That's nowhere near enough. How am I supposed to get my hands on another 999,999 diamonds before sunset? Oh, I have an idea. I know exactly what to do. I'm gonna need these. This is the only thing I can think of that even stands a chance of saving Mikey. I'll put these in here, and now I've got myself one of these. Next, I'll fill up these slots and... There! Done! I'll never be able to gather a million diamonds in time. There's no way! So I used ten of my savings to craft a sword and some armor that I can use to rescue Mikey myself. What were those coordinates again? Right. That's where I'm headed. No time to make any stops. Gotta rush to the meeting place. Run, 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 run. Actually, while I'm here, I should pick up some food. There, that's more than enough. <laughs> I'm off. It's time to rescue Mikey. Ugh, the sun is setting. I gotta hurry. Good thing I left when I did. These coordinates were really, really far away. Judging by the angle of the sun, I'm almost out of time. But the location must be around here somewhere. Oh, hang on. Hmm, who's that? Could it be one of Mikey's kidnappers? What's he doing? Oh, he's keeping watch. I can't let him see me. But I can't let him out of my sight either. Oh! Oh, of course! That must be the entrance to the secret hideout. I've got to follow him and rescue Mikey. The sun's almost down after all. Here goes! Oh! Wow, look at this! It's clearly the entrance to their secret hideout. It's a little scary, but I've got to go in. I'm Mikey's only hope. I have to save him while there's still time. I can do this. Slow and steady. I can't let anyone see me. Mm, now that is a long staircase. I'm gonna make my way down carefully. I wonder what's at the bottom of this thing. I hope I can get to Mikey before he gets hurt. There's no time to waste. Oh, there's the bottom. Oh, a door. Well, hang on, hang on. Something's not right. Wait a sec. It's a trap. Someone laid down a tripwire. I almost ran right into it. Hmm, I wonder what happens if I set it off. Whoa! That could have been really dangerous! If I hadn't noticed the wire in time, I would have been turned into a pincushion! Okay, I'm gonna go through the door. But I have to be careful. 
There could be more traps ahead. What is this place? There's a giant pit of lava. But it looks like I can use these blocks to get to the other side. Here I go. I'll admit I'm a little scared. But I can't let that stop me. But Mikey needs me. I just have to make sure I don't slip. There! I made it. Glad that's over. Alright, bring on the next room. Let's see. Is there anything in here? Hmm. Oh, uh oh. Looks like there's a bad guy in there. That said, there's also another door. Maybe I can slip through without being seen. Door's right there. Can I make it? Yo, I've been spotted! I wanted to avoid fighting my way through, but it looks like I don't have a choice. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, they're strong! Take that! Uh, they're backing me up into a corner! Got a bolt! Yes! Woohoo! That was close! Those guys were tough. Huh? They dropped something. One, two, three, four. Weird. Anyways, I better take some time to recover before moving on. That fight took it out of me. Couple more fights? Okay, I'm ready to get back at it.